Hi guys, um, another video with Dave. Um, I've been sent some messages um, from uh, new builders who want to try ships. Remember, this build is not for all new experienced modelers out there. This is basically helping um, people who have not done ships or want to try a big ship but don't feel confident enough and I'm trying to help those sort of people with the build. Um, there has been some questions asked me which I'll come to towards the end but let's get to the update. So we're now at the cannons. So we stuck with the cannons and what we've done now we've painted the um the wooden harnesses for the cannons themselves um if you want to know what colors i'm using then i always feel you know i don't follow the rebel colors because you know i, I like to use my own what i think is um looks good if you follow the instructions and you follow their paint guide then go ahead you know it's up to you but it's down to personal choice but my personal choice was start off with this um red brown then i'll add a like a darker color to it then do all the metal bits on the cannons yeah it's a lot of detail but you ain't gonna see it because you'll only see the ends of the cans out but i just wanted to i'll know it's done so, if you're following this build, then the next stage is paint the cannon. So it gets that job out of the way. Uh, it's monotonous, but it's one of those jobs that you've got to do. Just take your time, walk away, come back, carry on, walk away, come back, carry on. Right. Now, you need to, you don't need to, but my advice now is to um jump to the little pieces in the build that are a little bit fiddly but once they're done and you're actually onto the build of the model itself that you haven't got to uh, what wait for paint to dry you haven't got to wait for times and things so um what we've done now is we started work, I'll just scan over, to the little boat. Again, with the painting, it's personal choice. However you want to paint um, your model. If you want to follow the Rebel instructions, then follow the Rebel instructions. But I kind of wanted, I, I paint things as I think that, to me, look what i like so um that's basically it my only advice on painting which i will give is many years ago i talked to a professional artist and um i said to him what brushes do you use and all that and he's and he said oh they're really really expensive and i said well, what you know what's the difference i can get zero zero brushes 50 of them for a tenner but i have one brush and the backup which i've paid each of these brushes cost me 19 pound you must think god he's crazy why is he paid paid so much out for these brushes well i've had them a number of years now one they last and two you get to do very fine work with these brushes and it, they're, they're great to use. The great the fl the paint flow is terrific, and you can get into places with the very really good brushes where you can't with the cheap brushes because the bristles are rubbish basically. So my next tip is um, build and paint up your little boat. Now why have I done this in sections, and why have I stuck those on? Now the rudder is over there, painted. It's basically because these little pieces here are very awkward to pour in 
when you've put the whole dinghy together and you you get a tendency again if you're new to modeling get glue all over this bit so um my advice is stick them on and then paint them and regarding that brush i was telling you about it enables you to do the very fine lines which yeah some people can do with these cheaper brushes but i just find it a lot easier with the the, the expensive brush that i look after and keep the majority i, I just use these um zero zero brushes which are really cheap and they do the job but sometimes i wanted to do the finesse work so i kind of use that brush and it does help when you're trying to do paint things like this because it, the paint goes on smooth it doesn't drip and you you get a good look so this is going to be the sail these are the harpoon they're not done yet so I'm still working on these. I've got to paint the end of that. Uh, the next stage of this I want you to jump to, if you choose, to, and you're following me on this, is take your sails and give your sails a paint. Because um, by the time you come to do these, and you are fitting them and you're doing all the rigging then you gotta wait for them to dry um people said if you want to know what i've used for the color for this well when i you know i think back then i don't know i'm not an expert but i don't think sails were pure white i don't think they had that sort of cotton so if you want to know what color this is which i thought was quite nice it's called a sham. Um, what was it? Uh, hang on, <laughs> I forgot what I used because I mixed it up. It's all right. My dog's pestering me. Um. Oh. It's it's a mixture between. Um. An ordinary white and a cream white and I mix the two up and then basically put it through my airbrush so it's a mixture of a cream white and a champagne white and it comes out this color so and I kind of like it because it, it, it makes the sails look a little bit authentic I think they're not finished I've still got some touching up to do along the veins and stuff but Gives you an idea. So get your sails done. Then, after that, what we need to move on to now is what I've done. I first, on to this bit, I forgot to mention that it's when you come to do these are for the little boat to stick onto, but stick them on now. Because if you try to stick them on after it, again, this will be painted and you'll have trouble with overspill of glue. So what I've done also is I've coated the hull. In, it's not going to be the same colour as the sails, but I've used it as a base coat because the hull is going to be a touch whiter because I don't want them the same colour basically as the sails. So the bottom half of this is going to be the white that it is. So paint that and get that done. And then we can move on to the next stage. Now, I hope my advice is um, helping you and um, you know if, if it is it is if it's not and you want to do it your way then do it your way but I'm only suggestions and you know hoping that uh, it helps now to a quick go 
about the questions I've been asked. Why am I doing this? It's like I said at the very beginning, when I started these videos, it's to help the novice, the people who want to attempt a big ship and, you know, don't feel quite confident enough to do it. And, you know, maybe these tips will help them. The second question was, um, you know, how long have I been doing all this? Well, I've been modeling for about 30 years. Am I still learning? Yes. I'll give you an example. About five years ago, the there was an explosion on lighting models, which I did with the Black Pearl. But I'm not electrical. So I had a big learning curve. And um, thanks to a very good friend of mine in America, who is an electronics expert, he spent hours and hours and hours teaching me how to wire up circuit boards and and everything like that and it's not just him there was a lot of people on the um modeling sites that we have hangouts and if i had a question or if i got stuck then you know it was go to them and then they'd, they'd assist me so that's one of the other reasons i'm doing this uh on the lighting side this is not going to be lit up because um i don't think uh, it needs it. I don't think um, it will benefit it. The Black Pearl I did like, but that's a different ship. That's got to be an eerie, ghosty thing. Um, the next question. Which is the easiest ship to do out the two? The Black Pearl or is this one? Well, on the building side, I'd say they're about the same. On the painting side, obviously the Black Pearl is a lot easier because it's black. It's different shades of black and it's um, all things like that. But the actual building is the same, but the painting you on this pirate ship, because it's not the Black Pearl and it's just a, um, I think it's late 16th, 17th century ship. I don't know, I'm not a historian, but there's a lot of colors in there and you've got a lot of timber and, and things like that so the painting side of this one's going to be a lot lot harder because there's various colors you have to use uh, different shades um different washes on it to to mix in with the look so yeah painting it's the pirate ship itself uh building they're both the same um and like I said, if anything at the moment is my uh, biggest tip for today is it's okay to use cheaper brushes, but get yourself one or possibly two really, really good brushes. They can vary from 10 pound upwards. Artists use them and uh, I can see why now paintings cost so much to buy because you know that they really do use a lot of expensive brushes But that's a total different matter So anyway, there you are a small update on the next stage of the build for the Revel 1 in 72 pirate ship I hope it's helping you and I hope um that you continue to watch and I hope that these videos continue to help you. So good luck with your builds. Um, when I've done a little bit more, then I'll come back to you and I'll walk through where I'm up to and what I've done. Now, the last thing I want to say is, yes, I'm skipping parts in the instructions, but they're parts that are important in this build. Because as you're going along, you'll find if you follow the instructions as per se, then when you come to do uh, the little bits and the other bits that go onto the ship, you'll be waiting for the paint to dry. And, you know, I like to, when I get down to the building, I like to get to the building part. So this is like a little model in itself. And I'm building this little model to go onto the bigger model when it's complete. So I'll see you next time, guys, and happy building.